All right. Welcome back to day two of Admit of Code. Um, here's my Twitter. Here's the code. And look, today we have the key camp. As you can see how I type. It's also my louder keyboard, so... I'm hoping that um, because you can see it, the typing noise won't be too bad. Otherwise, I'll have to switch back to the more quiet keyboard. But, you know, that's just how it goes. All right, let's get started with day two of Advent of Code. Uh, AdventCode.com. Haven't looked at it yet, so... Uh, oh, you can't hear me. I spent so long tuning it. Oh, okay. Yeah, it should be better. Uh, uh, let me see. Can I make this bigger? Yeah, I can make this bigger. And then this. Okay, now I should be better, right? Um, yeah. Okay. Alright. So, always some audio issues. I added some compression today. And... So it should sound even better than yesterday, but uh, you know, it uh, it's always hard because like you know, I thought I had it fixed, and then I like upped the volume for the intro, and then I that was too much apparently. Anyway, let's get started. So we're going to day two. I haven't looked at this yet. So, uh, but last time we fixed Santa's finances, uh, which is great, and now. We have to get there from the coastal airport. All right. We're right on the toboggan. Okay, uh, so the shop. Oh no, there's something wrong with the computers at the toboggan rental shop. The database. Some of the wood. Okay. Try to, okay. They created a list, passwords, and the corporate password policy when this password is set. Okay. Uh, each line gives the password policy and then the password. The password policy indicates the lowest and highest number of times a given letter must appear for the password to be valid. For example, one to three times A means that the password must contain A at least one time, and at most three times. In the example above, two passwords are valid. Uh, the mail password CDFG is not. It contains no instances of B, but it needs at least one. Okay, the first and the uh, third passwords are valid. All right, so how many passwords are valid according to their policies? Okay, so I guess let's get started. Copy this. We are going to open day two. New file, input. Paste the input, save it. Um, we're gonna do a little trick called copy paste. I've been doing computer science since, uh, damn, since 2012. That's eight years. And I tell you, it's all about the copy paste. So we're going to take from file, um, which is our, it just reads and then, and then reads, yeah. So a uh, new file, day2.hs. Okay, module, main, where, uh, paste it, we don't need it, uh, it was just read file, let's, let's copy it again, copy, paste, from file, okay, so now we're going to read the file of inputs. Um, and then read them. So the format is 
uh, I think it's, you know, it's uh, number, hash, number, space, letter, colon, space, password. Okay, uh, so how do we do this? I think it's easier to split it at first. At the yeah, let's just read them. Read them and read first. Read file lines. I just want to get the list of strings. Okay, a. Okay, and this needs to be fm. Okay. Main file main if I do from file input. Type that into print. Let's make it um, I don't know. Probably. But uh, it's always good to just use what you have, right? Um, let me see. We're gonna do GHC day two dot uh, Oh, day two, and then we're going to run day two. Oh no! I have to see the day two. We're not using Cabal or anything yet because we don't need it. Okay, now we need another function. Uh, I think it's called span. Import data dot list span. Yeah, so it just takes in a boolean and then gives you the things that come before that and the things that come after that. So so okay now we're gonna just gonna you know f string to um we're just gonna do unit here string to list of strings okay f equals yeah let's split it just split it into a pair first string uh this is uh, so here we're gonna have the s yeah where x or y equals span and then I think import data dot char. I think they have a fun where they it's just called is char. Let me see. Google. Uh, so I want to. Okay. Let's just do equals like this span equals s this will actually just return us one thing let's just see what happens here if i if i do this first um See what happens if I run this. Uh, all right, it splits. Oh, I think we need to do not. not I think it's what it is. I think it splits on the first one that matches. Yeah, see, and then it keeps the rest um, we're just gonna be bold we're just gonna assume that it is here so we're gonna just unless we're just yeah so we're just gonna assume it's there and then we know that after it is a space so we're just gonna match on the space as well um, yeah, okay, and then we will return x comma y. Alright, great. Um, so now we have the password.
Next up is the policy. So... No need to split up the X and... What is it complaining about here? Oh, yeah, pass. Um, this is gonna be... So let's do first words on words. Or wait, can I just do unwords all of them initially? Let me see. What is what is so unwords of this should be it should be, you know, the thing and then the space and then the letter and then letter and the, the colon and then all right, so Probably simplest, right? Oh no. This is now where it's over. Yeah, okay, this is easier, right? So now we just get it as a list. Right, with colon at the end. Um, so let's say here. Here's the Paul. Here's the. Uh, this will be C, and then the colon, and then the empty list, and then the pass. Um, equals words S. Now, the policy we want to split into. Uh, x comma y. So min m m and ma equals. So we sp span it. Uh, not equals a dash. All. Okay. So and here we're gonna just return. Int. Uh, let's see, we return int comma int. So these are the bounds. We return the jar and the string. And this is just going to be uh, read a int me. Read a int comma. And then we are going to have, let me see here. We're going to have a C. And we're going to have the pass. And now we need the type applications because we want to do that in thing. We don't need it. So I keep doing this. I keep like thinking I need type applications because I, I always just want to make it explicit what I'm actually doing. But we have the int here so we can just figure it out right away. All right, let's see. Uh, sweet, but this is not the, what I was doing, so. All right, wait, no. Oh, shit. Oh, dear, I split on the dash. Like this. Yeah, that was not minus three. That was bad. Okay, um, now we have to actually solve the thing. That is another challenge. So, okay, so I think the trick here is that we only have the one character and we can actually break early. Right, so. You know, we, we actually don't, we only have to loop over it once uh, and not even the entire thing. So we just 
we just go over it until we okay so um yeah we go over it until we make sure that it has you know we only need to look at the characters until we have seen the maximum um and if we've seen the maximum we need to see if there's one more okay so let's do that um so 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 here we go cross so check uh it takes so it takes the bounds and and it will take a current number of repetitions and the string so far check and what does it return it returns boom. check uh, me ma okay actually yeah me ma uh, so far and if it's empty then we just return so if we if we're at the end there's no more text to say we just check that a M A less than or equal to so far and so far less than or equal to max. So that's if we're at the end. Check M A comma M A uh, so far in this. It's just something like this case. So okay, so x, p, okay, x, x is. Okay, so. Oh right, we need the ch character also. Uh, let's keep it here. We need the char here. Okay, so, um, um, okay, so here we check if x equals equals char, uh, then we check, so, okay, if, uh, if so far is less than ma, then so if we haven't seen too many, then we continue. Check. P, uh, let's just call this C. Maybe a little shorter. Uh, so if so far, okay, we can just say here. So if if. So so far is less than ma this then we continue check p c so far plus one incremented and check the rest if it is the case that x equals equals c so if, if, if this is the case and it's so it's not less than, it must be more than we just return false. Um, so we don't actually need this check here. Okay, we just need to check if less, if we've seen, so if we're at the end, we need to check if we've uh, seen enough of them. Um, but while we're at it, uh, um, and we need to check if we see too many. Other one, and then here's the otherwise. Check PC. What is wrong here? Oh, check PC. Check PC so far. So let's say. So, uh, 
object string, taking a string, returns into object pass, equal string. Uh, so now we're gonna do some crazy hacking. Let me see. Check pass equals. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna s. So so my I wanna I wanna kind of uncurry the whole thing. Is that even possible? Or like curry it? Wait, let me see. GCI T curry. Uncurry. Yeah, so I think so what is uh let me see here. Uh load day two dot ages. What is the type of curry of uncurry? There's an in, in char. Okay. So I think we should swap these two. Just to be able to do this one simple trick. Uh, yeah, okay, now we need to switch these two. So type uncurry check uncurry uncurry check. All right, you see this? It takes in a yeah. This is what we want. So let's wrap this once more. So then we can see that uh, we load it. Day two. T uh, uncurry dot uncurry. Check. Uh, check. Uh, so this. Oh no, wait. So this um this applied to so if we flip this we apply it to zero let's see so check pass is equal to flip uncurry dollar uncurry check zero of uh, f crazy right True, false, true. Um, real password is not. False, true, false, true. How many passwords are valid? Um, let me see. A. Can just count right oh 
Okay, let's just uh, let's just. So, what is the type of sum? Ah, let's just map it. So we have the check passes, and then we do sum. After we've um, after we've uh, mapped the booleans to integers, I think there's a there's like the as there is like a nice way to do this, but um, <laughs> okay, I mean there's a bad way to do this. No, we are not gonna do. That. We're not gonna go there. We're not gonna go over there. Um, let's just say filter id. This will return yeah. Okay, we run it, we get two. Um, now we're gonna copy this. We're gonna, wait, let me, so this is the test input, right? Okay, test, oh no. Okay, we copied the test input to test input, so we can still run that. Um, let's run this. So, you know, I said this would be functional, but it's actually, you know, this is just a very tight loop. So this check here, it's just a recursive call calling itself until it reaches a boolean so it's just it's just going to be a tight loop and that's as functional as anything you know i don't have to generate a list and sum over a list or whatever this is okay okay let's get the input you ready 600 too good to be true right mm -hmm. okay i was right very precise number but okay we did part one we got three stars already let's see how part two is part two is usually like either it's easier because you kind of you wrote the code so that you know the the additional work is just very trivial or you literally have to rewrite the entire thing because it has some weird stuff that you just didn't think about so let's see here yeah like this okay okay so we validated them but they weren't correct each policy actually describes two positions in the password, where one means the first character, two means the second character, and so on. Be careful, toboggan corporate policies have no concept of index zero. Exactly one of these positions must contain the given letter, other, other, what? Okay, so exactly one. So we just look up both and... Okay. Okay. Um, that seems... Not too hard. Okay. Check. Pass two. So this is a string. So here we say check pass two. Uh, 
where uh, we just apply our function to kind of parse it into the problem. Uh, and we uh, we have to pay for our sins. So here, this is gonna be the pass. And this is gonna be the uh, P1, P2 char. equals this f of s. So this function here should be named parse. Parse. And parse. Ding, 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 ding. Okay, and then we just check as you want. Okay, and this is, they say, it's not, not index zero. Okay, so we just say P1 minus one. If this is C, uh, and then here we want to want to do like a nor, but uh, I don't think we have that a basic operation. Do we though? No, wait. Not not or. We want we want an XOR, right? How does exclusive or work again? XOR. So XOR of uh, false, false equals. Okay, I think uh, XOR of false, false equals false. XOR false true equals true. XOR false. False equals true. XR to equals false. This is exclusive work. So we just say here this is equal to C. XR. for our test input. Oh, this is still check pass one. Check pass two, negative index. Oh, this should be P2 minus one. One, two, four, five. So does the one match? Yeah, there's only supposed to be one valid one. And that's the first one. Let's just, let's just make sure that we're actually doing that. Yeah, so it's the first one, and it says that the 245 pass rate is valid for the second one. All right, we done did it again. Uh, so now we have four gold stars, and uh, yeah, didn't take long this time. What, 35 minutes? It's even quicker than. The first one, I think I talked more in the first one, but it was also like, it was a harder problem in some sense. And I think this is pretty fast. I mean, we're not even, 
We're not even doing anything. I mean, the only... Only thing that we're doing is... Uh, I mean, the only kind of optimization we did was this here that we bail out early. Um, but, you know. Um, so how fast is it? 21 milliseconds. Um, okay. Twenty-one. Oh shit. Oh. It's like, yeah. Sometimes ten. Sometimes twenty-two. I think it's mostly just like file I/O bound. Anyway, ten milliseconds to twenty-one milliseconds. It's. It's not a lot. All right. I think. Uh, yeah. Status git add no. Oh no. We don't want the uh, oh okay. We actually have a good git ignore file. Uh git rm day two is this all for today i guess um yeah these will probably become more fun as the challenge increases um but you know i think i think i mean in this this part was mostly the complexity was like the hardest part was parsing the format um and then you know we even even messed around and spent some time doing this flip flip uncurry thing, which we did not have to do. So yeah, okay. Um, so that's it for today. Um, see you all again for day three tomorrow. And uh, so I have a YouTube channel where I'm uploading these videos. So you want to go check out previous days. Maybe you missed them. You can go there and uh, yeah, like and subscribe. Uh, I, I just like doing these. Uh, so fun. And it's a, it's a nice, uh, nice playlist, I think. Uh, oh, no. It's not actually showing my what the current song is. Right. Let me see. Now I had a... Let me see. Oh, now it works. Seems like it stopped updating at some point. Uh, why though? Why though? Okay. Um, yeah, I think it's because I opened Spotify on one desktop and then one like with WAP that desktop had like 4K resolution and then the other one has only 1k all right so yeah check out my youtube channel if you want to see previous days and uh, stay tuned for more tomorrow um i think it's gonna get even tougher so yeah all right enjoy